School of Jacksonville had a JV game against McClay, went in overtime, could have went in the double overtime. Episcopal missed the follow up layup. Episcopal coming off a 30 point win at John Paul II last night. This is Mickey Clayton, the coach, former head coach at Florida AM University. Men's team started the women's team. Entry pass, stumbled, fumbled, went out of bounds. Didn't know who the ref is going to call out. After looking at the JV team, I thought Episcopal would come out man to man, and they did. Blaze with a long one and knocks down the three. Already a, a quicker start than against North Florida Christian. They're going to have to shoot better to win this game. They were lucky to get away with the win over NFC. Jumper off. Colin McAllister did not play well at four points going into the fourth quarter last game. Blaze wasn't his usual self. He backs it out, brings him outside. Michael Green 
over to Jalen Crawford going through his Collin, and there's a turnover. Michael Green doing what he does. He plays good defense. And there's a foul. 656. Three nothing. McClay. Rank number two in the end sights. Super six point. Rank number two. Beat the number six team on Thursday. The Battle of Meridian Road. Might not want to give him wide open looks. Playing like it's an early Saturday game in the AAU tournament. Neither team really exerting the energy that coaches want. Blaze kind of muscled his way in, missed it, got his own rebound, put it in. Blaze with five points early. That looks more like the Blaze we're used to seeing. Ball over in the corner. Blaze went scoreless the first quarter against NFC. Good hand by McAllister, but that's another wide open three, though. And it's good. William Moore knocks it down, wide open. Five to three, 555 left in the first quarter. Jalen hit several of those Thursday night, but they were all out the other corner. Colin misses. Nobody from McClay went to the glass. Trap in the corner that they were ready for. The NBA three. Five to three, five nineteen. Blaze is getting a touch every time down the floor this time. Misses. Only getting one shot opportunity, except for the play dead. There's that traditional guy reach that Clay likes to do. Why, I don't know. Another one of the sophomore shooters in the, into the game. That would be Emery and Ezekiel. Open off that staggered triple screen. Miss. Catch and shoot. Backs him down, uses his height to shoot over him, but misses it. Not typically Ezekiel's shot. Five to three, four, eight. Off the good move off the dribble, then lost it. Episcopal just not knocking down shots right now, but they're taking them with confidence. Michael Grant to the basket. 7-3 lead. McClay. 1-2-2 two, two press. Did not catch Episcopal by surprise. They were well, they were ready for it. Going to the basket. There's a foul. Zero. Grady Schwartz goes to the line. 6-6. Six, six. Knocks it down. Ezekiel out. Who came in? Ah, Sawyer Stone. Let's see how well he's recovered from Thursday. He was just back hurting that. Had an ankle twist. Seems to be running pretty good on it. Has two of the same shoes this time. Not the ankle support he had before. Looking to set Michael Grant up off the dribble drive and a double screen. Uh, 
A good defense, ball on the ball. Knocks it away. Plays a lot more aggressive offensively than he was on Thursday. Usually he gets pretty good help from Colin, or at least this year he has been. He lined that up like he was going to shoot it, and did. Eight points for Blaze. McClay up 10 to 5. There's that go behind and reach. Michael Grant with the layup off the turnover. Coach is right on him. That's a 30 second timeout. Coach Mickey Clayton on insights. Two eyes in the middle. I N S I I G H T S, where we always talk the talk. McClay a lot better covering away that taking away the pass in the middle of the zone offense, catch and shoot. He was backing up when he let it go. Kent Jackson knocks it down. 12 to 8. Fighting the postman, which gives him the lob pass. Grant penetration and dish. Looks like old McClay now, where it used to be ball gets the corner. Automatic shot. 0 for 4 from the three-point line. Earlier in the season, we had games they went 0 for 11 out of the corner. They stopped shooting it as much. Offense proficiency went up. They're going to identify him as the shooter at some point. Kent Jackson knocks down another three. 12 to 8. Blaze trying to match him, misses it. Good rebound, Michael Grant. 12 to 11. 12 to 5 timeout. By Episcopal, it made an adjustment. Ken Jackson came back, hit two threes. 12 to 11, 132 left. Episcopal's right there, within sneezing distance. Good defense on the inbounds play. Always the most dangerous person is the one who inbounded the pass. Sawyer shoots a three. Good defense. Stop the penetration. Colin bonding it up a little bit. Number two. Oh, I see what they did. They put Grayson in. A little irritant. He plays good defense. He's up. He'll be in there for about a minute. It'll be hard for him to get that pass open over there because he didn't complete denial. There's that go-behind reach that McClay is known for. One-shot opportunity. Bandling down inside is Episcopal. Grayson on the shooter. Looking for a screen. Good defense, but Clay's bench responds. 35.3 seconds left in the quarter. Kid Jackson brought a pistol boot back in the game. 12 to 6, down by one. 35 seconds to go. Double screen up top. Screen away for the shooter. He had to work to get that one open a little bit. Collins slow to move to get the a ball to hit the floor. Episcopal beat him to the ball. 17.3 left. Substitution. It, Episcopal tried to get him in quick. Didn't quite get him in there quick enough.
couple of mismatches on the floor. Sawyer Stone with a little guard on him. At 6-2. The play started off inside, came outside, shot a long one. Off. A much better shot would have been to try and post him up on the block. I think that Episcopal can live with him shooting that jump shot out there. Insights. Game of the week brought to you by McClay Booster Club. We'll be right back for the second quarter. A special thank you to our presenting sponsors, especially Chick-fil-A and TOC. On Twitter, insights. Yeah. Two eyes in the middle. I N S I I G H T S. All right, y'all. Like us on Facebook. Hi. And we're back. Eight to nothing. I mean, sorry, twelve to eleven. Eight minutes left in the quarter. I mean, the second quarter just starting. Where's number two? They made a defense. I, I told you, Grace. Grayson will be on him for about a minute. Now it's on Jalen to deny him the ball. Nice offensive set they ran right then. Grady scores the layup. Jacksonville first lead of the game. Inside on the block, but I, I think that he would be a lot more effective there. Look like we have an official timeout. Chip tried to take him out, and then he thought about it, let him stay. The battle I'm looking for is where is Kent Jackson? Oh, uh, running in that point. McClay in the zone. Episcopal shoots the ball. Or at least Kent shoots it pretty good against that zone. To the basket and it gets blocked. Surprised him with that athleticism. 13-12. Episcopal up by one. Long shot. Good. Ezekiel with the three. He can shoot the ball. Now that they've gone back to zone, they've changed the offensive set to put the shooter over there. They shoot the ball. Tell you, they shoot the ball pretty good. Declan McCarthy knocks down a three. They're going to shoot him out of that zone. Ezekiel tried to back him down. That's a part of his game that's developing some as a 10th grader. Using this 6'4", six, 6'5", six, left. Miss plays inside. Good defense on the block, working on it, but he was open for a minute. You got to deliver that ball quick. Good defense by Episcopal. Well versed in that man-to-man. -man. Plays, knocks down another one. His third three. That gives him 11 for the game. Blaze is going to have to do it. Nobody else is helping him. I'm trying to find Kent. That's in his range. As he knocks it down. I've been doing this for a little while. So he ain't going to be a troubleshooting that zone. He let him stay out there. He'll keep shooting them. He backed up the NBA range on that. 
Ezekiel trying to trying to get a spot inside the, the box there. Trying to take advantage of the height. Michael Grant a little bit more aggressive on offense than he was normally. A ball out of bounds on Jalen Crawford. In comes Colin and Sawyer Stone. Two, two early season starters. Colin's going to have to play better. Again, he had four points in the first quarter Thursday night. Hadn't scratched yet. Back to a man to man. And he finished that through the contact. Ken Jackson said, what's the record in this place? And this time, Blaze to the basket and won. That was a man move by Blaze. Albany State signing. They have to be pleased. We'll have to go to Albany to see him play. And he knocks it down. 14 points for Blaze. They had to put Grayson back in the game to put him on Kent. Grayson is the one that usually breaks the momentum. But there's a three to hit that one on Blaze. Grady Schwartz. 24-21. Episcopal is up. Nobody under the basket. Episcopal will settle for that. Almost carried that one. Chased off the spot and knocked down the jumper. McCarthy knocks it down. Schwartz, I mean, Sawyer tried to draw contact. Colin finally hits one. Three quarters yesterday and one today. Four quarters without scoring a basket. Maybe he'll get his confidence up now. 26-23, Episcopal. Very calm running their man-to-man -man offense. And cut off the entry pass, and he went back door. Well versed. But that's what you do. Spran's coach does that. Oh, they had four white shirts on the perimeter when that shot, mid-range shot was taken. 28-23. And calling out Gonzaga. Uh, too late on that steal. They make you pay. Off his leg. Sawyer Stone, good hands. Grayson goes for a minute, minute and a half at tops. Time out, 30 seconds. Faith TV on Insights Roku is Insights' fastest growing component. When you need that spiritual uplifting, when you need to be able to rest your spirit, get that guidance, go to Faith TV, Insights Roku. Faith TV on Insights Roku is in. One, two, go, get go. And we're back, 245 left in the quarter. Two 
2.45 left. Episcopal up. 28-23. Around the rim and out. Sawyer. Not quite with a shooting touch back. They all get it back quick. It'll be too late in this game. Make you work on defense. Everybody in movement in that motion offense. And a now jumper knocked down to the floor and up. These uh, Miller shoots the two. I'm going to the free throw line. Plays. Kent coming back in. They rested him for a minute. Not long, though. Conditioning will be a test. Because Episcopal is putting pressure on you all the time. Can you rest Blaze at some point? A minute 38 left in this half. He knocks down both free throws. And we have a timeout. 30 second timeout. 30 second timeout. One, two, go, get stop. Pull up and shoot it. <laughs> Kent putting on a show. That's 10 points this quarter. 16 for the game. Episcopal is on a 26 to 11 run. They were down 12 to 5 after the timeout. They've been unstoppable. Can't back at point. Ran the alley. -oop. Blaze stayed at home. Forty five seconds left. Gonzaga. Thirty-four seconds left. McClay a little confused on that switch. There's a foul. Colin McAllister. Twenty-seven point three seconds left in this quarter. Thirty-four twenty-five lead by Episcopal School of Jacksonville. Episcopal coming off a 30 point 64 to 33 win over John Paul too. And finish that. And finish that. These are uh, with an and one possibility. Thirty six twenty five, fifteen point eight left. Tr 
trying to make sure people didn't get additional fouls and to get just an extended rest on the break. Beza knocks it down. 14 seconds left. McClay down 37 25. And there's a foul call. That's only the third one, so it's no bonus. Pretty much foul free. They're letting them play. A lot of contact going on under the basket here with 23. Might be stolen. That's a long three. Knocked down by Blaze. It looked good from the minute it left his hand. That's the end of the first half with McClay, 28, Episcopal School of Jacksonville, 37. We'll be back for the second half. Just when did we learn to look more at screens than to look into each other's eyes? And how did we grow to see our screens become cemeteries for our children's lives?
Well, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Episcopal has put on a show. They have shot the ball well. I just had a, a visitor. Heisman Trophy winner. Charlie Ward, a winner of the state championship last year. With the number two team, McClay beat them by two. Earlier in the season, Florida High hadn't lost a contest since. And not only have they not lost one, nobody has been close. Led by Anthony Robinson going to Missouri. Episcopal. Great discipline ball club. Experienced coach. Experienced successful coach. The guys on this team know each other, know where they're supposed to go. Let's see what happens now. They try to alley oop play to Sawyer. Stone with his first basket of the game. I know Coach is looking to see if he could get him on track because he's going to need him. Defensive pressure a lot better by, by Colin. Uh, defensive intensity has picked up. By McClay. They're cutting our passing lanes, getting hands in the passing lanes, fighting over the screens. Let's see how long they can keep it up. They're going to have to keep it up 16 minutes to beat Episcopal. Kent knocks that three down. He said intensity that. He walked right into that three on out of bounds play. Miss Blaze on the point guard. I don't know why he passed the ball to Sawyer to lead the break. Jalen has to handle it better than that. They were waiting on a spin move, and that's off. Effort on defense by Colin is a lot better. He got that pass a little easy. Deny that entry pass. Good help, Jalen. Episcopal, very patient, running their offense, getting what they want. And good job. They keep continue to run and get you off those picks, and they come hard off the pick. Grady Schwartz with a layup. Open shot. Sawyer didn't hit it. Still working on that timing. It's the type of game McClay needs. He shot that fading away. 
he shot that three fading away and a technical foul. Uh, he called a he called a technical foul on it. The only thing I could say is that he had to call it on taunting, but I don't know that he really did much other than shoot the three and turn and looked at it. His coach picking up for him down there. I don't know what the what what he really specifically did on that. He had turned and looked at him, kind of typical of what most basketball players do. He hit a three, fading away to the left, never hit the rim. Coach seemed to be at least satisfied with the response that he got, but it didn't make sense to keep pursuing it to say much else other than okay. 45-31 in the third quarter. Episcopal slowly pulling away. Ezekiel knocks down a three. He came off that screen. He was looking to shoot it. A double came. McClay secures the rebound. Blaze looked like he was about to pull it. Trying to get down a little bit closer, working to a better position. Sophomore shooter off the top of the backboard. McClay rebounds it. Collin hits one. That's six points for Collin. Need him to wake up a little bit out of that malaise he's been in. He's only had four points the last time we saw him, which was Thursday. He's going to need to help Blaze because they're concentrating on denying him the shots that he wants. He shot that with very deep air ball. 45-37. Eight-point lead for Episcopal. Blaze was screaming for the ball on the block. Because the way it was set up, there was no help. They ran a double double screen on the other side for that famous corner jump shot. Collard almost fell going behind his back. Ball back to Blaze. That was almost a frustration shot that I didn't get it the first time. Defensive intensity. <laughs> 251 left in the third quarter. Eight point lead. McClay has cut into the lead by one. I need to take advantage of this of these scoring opportunities that are available. That's the pass that should have happened last time down the floor. Plays to the basket, and it's blocked, and a foul is called. There's been a lot more contact in this game than that one. The 19 points by Blaze, he hadn't broken it this quarter. Oh, Nick. McClay gets smaller. And Blaze makes them both. 45 39, six point lead. Coach is yelling at him, make him go left, make him go left. Grady Schwartz, as they yell rebound, it went through the bottom of the net. He said rebound it after it goes through.
kind of looked away to see where he was going to make the next pass to and didn't catch it first, much like in football. See it in your hands. 154 left, 48, 39, nine-point lead by Episcopal. They're in complete control of the game. Way to deny the entry pass then. Foul on Grayson. No surprise there. Grayson kind of plays physical. Smallest thing in the gym, but he backs off of nobody. Good handle of the ball. Beza. Collin, hustling, diving on the floor. Grayson with the rebound, and it, it was a foul over the back. Now, that one, I don't know how that could be argued too much. Yeah, he, he was behind them and reached around the back. 125 left in the third quarter. Piscopal still in the lead and in a commanding lead, 48-39. to 39. The first game that we've done that where McClay has been behind by this much, even in Florida High, not this much and for this long. Uh, three by Colin. They need him. That's seven points for Colin this quarter. 42-48. Good battle at the point guard spot there. Looks like it slipped out his hand. And here comes the other ref. Yeah, I, I didn't think anybody hit it. I thought he lost it. And he kept the ball with Episcopal. I was a little surprised at that one. 48, 42, 55.8 seconds left in the third quarter. Good help. I thought Blaze was going to pull up and shoot it. Got a little closer and knocked that down. Here comes McClay. Here comes McClay. 48, 44. McClay making a run. Get back in this one. And they needed to. But now the question will be the adjustment. That's going to be the question. Forty-four Episcopal and McClay picking up full court. Still setting the pick. No switch, fighting the, through it. Grayson back in the game. A missed layup. Hits the floor. Thought he drew contact. Trying to tell him to hurry up. Coach Granger upset with that. That offensive foul, 4.6 seconds left. Gray Schwartz yelling at his teammates to make sure they understand where they're supposed to go. He almost hit that three. He almost hit that at the buzzer. Yeah, Insights High School Game of the Week. We'll be back for the fourth quarter.
Crawfordville Lenders is the place for you to go for your chicken. It's a short drive down Crawfordville Highway located at 2120 right across the street from Walmart. You can get all your fried chicken needs including chicken wings and chicken tenders in your choice of flavors. The boneless chicken sandwiches are made from whole chicken breast and dressed exactly how you want it. You can even order hot chicken. H-A-W-T hot. No need to go to Nashville. It has a great slow burn to it. Try it. We do chicken right. Crawfordville Lenders both day and night. Crawfordville Lenders is a place for you to go for your chicken. It's a short drive down Forty-four, forty-eight. We got a ball game, ladies and gentlemen. Defense of McClay held up, and Colin with a quick timeout. We told you Colin needed to step up to help out some, and he's been able to do that. That's why it's a team sport. I'm loving Grady Schwartz out there. He is really telling people where to go. It took Gabe a minute to figure he was supposed to take the ball out of bounds. Grady was barking instructions to him. He's obviously the release man. Blaze stays back to help make sure they don't get to the basket. That's what I was looking for. Kent Jackson held him to two threes. And that's how I held him to two threes because he's been killing them. He's pushing Grady down there. Uh, Michael Grant, I'm sorry. Off. 7.24, McClay down by two. Blaze trying to get to the basket, penetrating dish. He's going to shoot this one. He was going back down the floor and missed it, though. That match up to the shooters and a turnover. Coach Chip squatting down, just put his face in his hand. Ezekiel and Emery switching out. 7 11, 48 46. This is going to come down to the wire here. Might have been a travel changing those feet there. Tried to draw a charge. Do you know how hard it is to teach high school players, college players, to stand in and take an offensive foul? Episcopal taught well, trying to do it. Blaze took an extra dribble, threw his rhythm off. Forty-eight, forty-six. Nothing but the sound of twine. Move Kent Jackson to point, which is what they do when he hadn't been able to get his shots. There's that backdoor cut that they have run so successfully. Coaching staff and the bench from McClay holler. There he goes. They've made an adjustment. Colin is coming to life. Allen has come to life. McClay takes their first lead, 50 to 48. (laughs) 
Good help defense. You got to stay on him because he'll pull it from there. The question is, Episcopal puts pressure on your defense to see how long you can play good defense. Sawyer and Blaze trying to discuss it. Brady knocks it down. Brady's kind of the leader out there, the vocal leader. This is the second one. The Braves wanted the ball. He wanted the ball. 52 49, 538 left in the final stanza. You better be conditioned to play them on defense. Good help defense again. Good help and recover and denial on the ball. And they call it. Time out. Episcopal. Now it's, now it's a discussion on the call. I don't know what all that was about. I really don't. Looks like they tried to say they called a timeout. I don't know if that was what they were giving credit for or not, but we'll sort it out when we come back. Episcopal was able to hold on to the ball. You have to watch that shooter, the inbound passer. A head fake. Pass in the corner. Shorts has hit him up top. Those jump shots Episcopal was hitting earlier. They're not going down now. 52-49, but they're still right there. Five oh eight. Collins getting a rest. The way Collins has played, he's getting a rest. When he gets when he comes back, he's gonna have to be there. Boy, you saw how Schwartz fought over that pick. He put that elbow up and leg step through. That's how you talk. McClay is comfortable for it to stay right there. They put a guard on Blaze, put more pressure on him. He needs to go straight to the block. He needs to dive and call for it like he's doing it. He, he had, they had a guard on him is what they wanted. He's the guard. He's playing good man-to-man -man defense, playing half a man. That would be Beza Miller. They've run about a minute off the clock. Blaze, yes, he's hooked him. He hooked him. He hooked him. Hooked him last time. Got away with it. That time he hooked him. 52-49, 358 left in the final stanza. Here comes Colin. Grayson, so he goes for a minute, 60 to 70 seconds, just to give him a blow to put defensive pressure on you. 
Schwartz is the release man as Blaze stays on the other end, waits for him to come down. The shooter out here. Air ball. Kent misses this one. He's hit two threes in the third quarter. Been silent since. Episcopal's put a guard on Blaze. He has to go to the block then. And shoot over him is what he has to do. Colin draws a foul. Two excellent coaches here. Coach Gene Granger. Dad. Long time trainer at Florida State. Colin tried to post up in that 2 3 zone. He might hit that. 52 49, 313. Schwartz. Jump shooter. Head fake. He's trying to get to the basket and it's blocked. But they're waiting until he gets up rather than push it. Blaze called for it. He wanted to dunk it and change his mind. He didn't quite get the lift he thought he was going to get, but finished it. 28 points for him. They're busy chasing Kent off that three-point line. Two substitutions by McClay. 54, 49, 239 left. Where is Kent? And it's a foul call. Late foul call, but it was a foul call. Going to the line to shoot two. He's a Miller. The question was, we talked about the defensive intensity that McClay came out of the locker room with. The question was, would they be able to maintain it? They were down as many as 10 and 11, and so far they've been able to maintain it. Free throw is off. Fifty-four, forty-nine. Here in the fourth quarter, McClay Marauders Jim, Mickey Clayton, the coach, former head coach at Florida a and University, retired. A several young, nice call for the lob pass, which has been open. We said that earlier. This is that there's several young men here can play basketball at some level here. Three by Grady. Told you I like Grady, emotional leader. Appreciate it, Coach, and of course, you know, I always thank Insights for covering high school sports. Um, you know, you all kind of open that door for high school sports to be uh, viewed by those on the outside. Uh, and I know football is doing more now. I mean, I think one of the, next, the uh, stations are doing high school football, uh, but you guys are the ones that kind of help open that door for um, high school basketball to be shown. Um, I know you've been doing it for some time, but we appreciate your support.
151 left in this contest. McClay ball out of bounds. Episcopal picking up full court pressure, man to man. Nobody on the ball. Another one back. Probably looking to front the two guards. And help and trouble getting it in bounds. Nobody really wanted to handle that ball. They gave it to Blaze. Schwartz is on him now. They decided that mismatch was something that was not working in their favor. It was a good, smart move with Blaze staying on the perimeter to put a guard on him. But Clay that time took advantage of the mismatch, got the ball inside. Double on the ball. Put the ball on the floor. Here comes the double team. Good job for Episcopal. 136, 56, 52. Four point lead will not be enough. Trouble getting the ball inbounds. Blaze can take him off the dribble. Then what? 126. Here's McClay looking to score. 113. Offensive foul call. Coach Dranges, he's he's all over Colin on that one. 107, 56, 52. A little more size in the game for Episcopal. 11 and 5 record. In the same region with McClay, and they see each other again. Nice move. Nice move, Bezos. And a foul with the score, 56, 54, 46 seconds left. And the chess match continues. Not enough to be shooting one and one. Two sophomores in for McClay. Blaze tying his shoe. That's a good way to get a rest. With a guard on him this time. And it looks like a turnover. And it is. And it is. Good move. What did they do? They sent a double team at Collin to get the ball out of his hand. Jumped the next pass. Turnover. 56-54. McClay slowly walking up to pick up their men. The ball inside. It and there's a three, and it's good. There's a three, and it's good. Basketball, William Moore. They take a one-point lead. McClay walks over to the bench. The last possession of the 57 56 Episcopal with a one point lead. 
Will the strategy stay the same? Might have used another ball handler to help Colin. Missed one. They gave the ball a blaze. 20 seconds left. They're going to send a double team at him. Got a foul call on the penetration and kick. 12.9 seconds. Michael Grant at the line. I don't know for Episcopal if that was a bad move or not because they actually get the ball back. You kind of in your own hands and at the free throw line is Michael Grant. And he missed it. And a foul. Going to the line to shoot. One and one is Episcopal. Eleven point eight seconds left. Fifty seven, fifty six. William Moore at the line. He hadn't shot a free throw yet. He's hit knocked down two threes at the line. Still will be a one possession game. 11.8. Kent Jackson relaying instructions on what he wants. Knocks them both down. Time out by McClay. Insights Roku is Insights' fastest growing component. When you need that spiritual uplifting, when you need to be able to rest your spirit, get that guidance, go to faith. Episcopal School of Jacksonville poised to come to Tallahassee and win two games. Back in man. Colin with the ball to blaze, which you kind of expected that pick. And he shoots a long one. And it's off. Doesn't hit anything. Doesn't hit anything. Shot that NBA three. 56, 59. And it looks as if Episcopal has come in Marauder Gym. And escape with a W. 1.6 seconds left. A missed free throw. An instant timeout. 1.3 seconds left. And the chess match continues. You pick them up full court. You put pressure on them. Coach Chip is emphasizing something, particularly to Grady. Kent Jackson nods his head. Whatever the assignment is, they seem to understand clearly what is expected of them on the other end. 
McClay's bench is huddled around close, tight. I would imagine the inbound pass has to be at least a half court for a catch and shoot. They're, they're discussing where the ball is being taken out. This should be key in terms of where the ball is. A lot of explaining. They're getting the ball here in front of the bench. Put their tallest man on the ball. He shoots it. Oh, on alignment. Hit off the rim by Blaze. It was a great play. It gave them a good look at the basket. That was a better shot than the shot he took at the end of regulation there, right before that possession. A 56. 59 ball game Episcopal School of Jacksonville able to come to Tallahassee and put on a shooting display led by most of the game McClay came out the second half a different ball club gave a lot of got a lot of assistance from Connor McAllister the second half in addition to which their defensive intensity picked up a lot we appreciate being able to be here and bring this contest to you this was a good one here this was a good one. And Sean Ward said, I am.